Hey everybody, my name is Mick and I'm an international recruiter with Nova Southeastern University in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. And today I'm gonna to be talking to you a little bit about admissions interviews. I know that's something that can be stressful and a little bit intimidating, but hopefully after today's presentation, you will realize you don't need to be maybe so stressed or intimidated about the admissions interviews that you might be doing and you'll feel a little bit more prepared. <clears throat> These will just be talking about my experiences having been interviewed and conducting interviews and some things I've learned in that process. Um, and just a quick overview of NSU so you can get an understanding of where I'm coming from. But NSU is a medium sized university. We have around 4,500 undergraduate students and a pretty diverse student population. We have around 850 international students from 93 countries. And as I mentioned, we're located in Fort Lauderdale, Florida, which is very close to Miami in South Florida. <clears throat> now, as far as admissions interviews, I think before you uh, start doing an admissions interview, it's important to understand why universities interview students. And I know students often think that it's universities are, are trying to find the bad students or something like that. I think it's really the opposite. Universities in really the whole application process, but uh, especially with the interviews, are trying to find students who are gonna be good fits for the university. They want you to succeed. They want you to have a good interview. And I think that's really important to realize. They're not trying to, to catch you or find you saying something bad. They really want you to have, to be the student. You know, if you go in and have a great admissions interview, you're gonna make your admissions officer officer's job much easier. And so really they're looking for students who they think are gonna have success at the university. And that's both academic success, meaning you're gonna get good grades, you're gonna excel, you're gonna graduate from the university, but also a student who's gonna be a good fit. They want you to, to find a university where you're gonna feel comfortable, where you're gonna enjoy your time, where you're gonna be around other students that are like you that you get along with. So really that's what they're looking for. They're looking for students who they think are gonna have success. They want you to do well. Um, and it's important to understand also what an interview means for you. And so for one thing, an admissions interview is a chance for you to learn a little bit more about the university, especially if you can't go visit campus. But this would be a chance to meet someone, talk to somebody face to face or over Zoom that works at the university and can answer your questions about the university. University websites have a lot of information, but you also might run into a few questions you can't find online and you would like to talk to somebody about. And you can use the interview as a chance to ask those questions. Um, but, the universe, but the interview is also a chance for you to find out if the university is a good fit for you. You can kind of see the culture a little bit better. Look at your admissions officer that's interviewing you. Are they very serious? Are they relaxed? Are they casual? And those kind of things will give you a good idea for what the culture of the university is like. So it's a chance for you to see if you like the university just as much as the university is interviewing you. And a couple of things to remember before the interview. First, universities want you as much as you want them. You know, there's a lot of students competing to go to each university, but at the same time, there are a lot of universities competing for you. So it's important to realize you have a little bit more power maybe than you think and there are a lot of options for you. Second, don't pretend that you're someone that you're not because that can lead to a bad fit. And what do I mean by that? What I mean is when you're in your interview and you're asked questions, don't answer the questions based off of what you think your admissions officer wants to hear. Be really honest, you know, be honest with yourself about who you are and with your admissions officer about who you are. Because if you answer, um, you know, not, dishonestly, but if you answer in a way that's <clears throat> maybe not revealing exactly who you are and the university chooses you based off of that, you might find yourself in a university where either academically it's maybe too challenging, not challenging enough, and socially you don't really get along with other students. So you definitely want to just be you. I promise you that who you are is good enough for some university. And so do a lot of interviews, just be you, and eventually you'll find a place where you feel, where you are chosen, they want you, and you feel really happy there. And the third thing to remember is to use the interviews to see if you like the university. I know we can also often think 
that the interview is a chance to see if the university wants me, but kind of as I was saying, this is a chance for you to see how you feel about the university, the culture of the university, get your questions answered, see how the admissions officer treats you. So, um, you know, that's an important thing to remember. <clears throat> So before the interview, I think there are a couple steps you can take to ensure that you have a successful interview. Um, none of these are, I think, groundbreaking, but I think they are important to highlight. First is to practice, practice, practice. Search for interview questions online. Have your family members ask you inter interview questions. Have your guidance counselor ask you interview questions. If English isn't your first language, practice doing them in English because they most likely will be in English. But it's very important to practice those questions because as you're doing that, you might start to answer and realize, you know what, that's not a good answer. And you'd rather do that in practice than during the interview itself. And a little trick I do when I'm getting ready for interviews is if I'm out for a walk or a run, I'll think of questions that I might be asked and answer those to myself. And that'll just give you some practice at different ways you can answer the questions. Um, the second thing is to research the university. I think that's the same as with the job. You want to know what the job you're applying for is about, but the same thing with the university. You want to know a lot about the university. So definitely use university websites to research the university, find out interesting facts, find out about the major you're interested in, look up the, the major you're interested in on each university's website and know about that university. So when you go for the interview, you can show your admissions officer that you know about the university in detail, you've done some research on it and that will impress them. Um, and I think it's also important tying in with that, you should know why you want to attend that particular university. You may not be asked, why do you want to attend this university outright? But there are different ways that a similar question might be asked to you. And so you want to know specifically why you're interested in a university. Um, and I try to stay away from you like the weather or something very generic. Try to find something specific, either academically or socially or something like that that's going on, on at, at the university and on campus that uh, will show you really are interested. Now, during the interview, obviously, you want to be presentable. Even if you're doing the interview on Zoom, that's very important. You want clean clothes. You want to look nice and professional. I think that, you know, first impressions are important. So you want to factor that in when you're doing your interview. I think the next thing is you want to project confidence during the interview. Again, I know interviews can be scary, they can be stressful, and oftentimes during an interview, that will come across as being unconfident and unsure of yourself. But you definitely want to project confidence. And um, so that means projecting your voice. If you're in person, looking at your interviewer in the face and the eyes. Um, and I think if you follow the steps for before the interview, of practicing, researching the university, and just spending some time to be prepared, you will feel a lot more confident and you'll be able to project that in the interview itself. And then I think kind of tying in with that is you wanna be conversational. If you're feeling confident, you will make it more of a conversation. You know, this is a chance for you to stand out. Admissions officers have a lot of students they're dealing with. And frequently those students are just names and SAT scores and TOEFL scores that they receive. But students, it's, it's not a, a living, breathing 3D person. So an interview is kind of your chance to show your admissions officer, hey, I'm a real person. I have a story. Um, it kind of makes you, uh, like I said, a 3D person in their eyes. So you want to be conversational. You want to have them remember you. And, um, you know, again, going back to being confident, if you're confident, you're going you're gonna to be a little bit more conversational rather than just sitting back and only speaking when you're asked the question. And, you know, oftentimes at the end of an interview, you're asked, do you have any questions for me? Um, certainly have a few questions prepared. And that goes back into doing your research, find out some questions you ended the interview themselves. You don't have to wait till the end during the interview and you have a question about that topic. Talk to the person, talk to the admissions officer. Um, and I think that will really help you to stand out. And I think the other point is to focus on your positives. I know it can be very awkward to talk about yourself in a positive light. It feels like bragging. And you certainly don't want to say, hey, I'm the best at everything I do. But I think it is important to focus on your positives. And that accidentally during interviews, when we want to make ourselves look good, but we also don't want to look like we're bragging, we can kind of downplay our positives. And you want to be careful to avoid that. <clears throat> 
you definitely want to play up all your positives and any negatives that you think you might have, turn those into positives and don't focus on them and don't dwell on them. Um, again, that's because you want to create a, a really positive impression with your admissions officer and make yourself memorable in a good way. And then I think another thing that's often forgotten is after the interview, you definitely want to thank the interviewers. If the interview's in person, make sure you shake their hand, look them in the eyes. These days, you'll probably be doing interviews through Zoom, but you certainly want to make sure at the end, do not forget to thank the admissions officers because they have taken time out of their day. They're very busy and they've taken time out to learn a little bit more about you and to allow you the opportunity to kind of tell your story. So you definitely want to let them know that you're appreciative of that time and certainly thank them during the interview. But I think it's also important that you follow up with them. So either later the same day of your interview or maybe even the next day, send them a follow-up email thanking them again for their time and for learning a little bit more about you that will really be appreciated. And just let them know in your follow-up email that if they have any other questions for you, that you are available to provide those answers for them. Um, I think that will go a long way to creating a good impression and to just show that you're, you are thankful for the opportunity to interview for the university. So I think if you follow those tips, you know, it will really demystify the interview and it'll make it less intimidating. You know, recognize that the university, that your admissions officer wants you to succeed. They want you to have a good interview and they're really hoping that you do. They're not looking for reasons to deny you admission. In fact, it's usually going to be the opposite. They're looking for reasons to admit you. I think that will really, uh, you know, make you feel more calm. Also, you're going to want to prepare, practice interview questions, research the university, know why you are interested in that particular university, and that's going to make you feel a lot confident so that during the interview, you can, you know, be presentable, you can be professional and be confident in your answers. And then, of course, as mentioned, after the interview, you're going to want to make sure you thank them, send a follow up email as a thank you. And so I hope this presentation did help you uh, not be so stressed about admissions interviews. They're good opportunities to learn more about the university and to show what a great candidate you are for the university. I've left my email address here. So if any of you do have questions about interviewing, if you uh, want any elaboration on what I've spoken about, please feel free to reach out to me. I'm happy to answer those questions for you. Good luck on all your interviews.